Morning guys, so today I'm doing a uh, ring pour with five colors. It is a challenge on Julie Cutts Australian Pouring Group page, uh, challenge number 14, a ring pour with a color palette of these five colors, or I, I mixed my own colors, so I, it's as close as it's gonna get. I don't think it has to be exact, but that's the general um, idea. So my first color I'm using is a light magenta by Artist Loft. Um, it's really, really pretty. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it. Um, they are a little on the thicker side. Um, it does, when doing the, um, bringing the paint up, it does leave a little bit of a, a mound and then slowly disappears. So with the light pink, I, I used my Artist Loft white and some of the pink and mixed that together. So they are somewhat of the same family. So like I just mentioned, I have Artist Loft White. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did add about an ounce of water to it. Um, this is what I'm using. For the gray, I'm using the Artist Loft White and some of the Artist Loft Black. And for my black, right here, I'm using just obviously Artist Loft Black. So these five colors in a ring pour, I think will look really, really nice. Um, so that is what we're doing today. Now, um, like I said, my paints are a little bit on the thicker side. All of them are mixed with two parts Floetrol to one part paint, about an ounce of water in the white. And I did actually, now that I'm recalling, I put about a half ounce or so in the pink as well because the Artist Loft uh, Light Magenta can can be pretty thick. So um, I was going to use this cup. Maybe I still will, but I'm going to get going and we're going to have fun. So if I'm silent, just know it's uh, because I'm concentrating. Okay, I'm back. I've layered my cup. And I'm going to coat the canvas to help my ring pour move. I usually tape the back of my canvases, but uh, I'm out of tape. Isn't that the way it always seems to work? Um, of course, I went to the store last night and I forgot to pick up some painter's tape. So hopefully this won't be too messy on the back. I do like my back clean. Just take that glove off, put it over there, and grab another one. And we're gonna get ready to pour. I definitely have more than enough paint.
Uh, well, hopefully that'll get stretched out, so. How we do here. too crazy about the really dark center, but I have some cells popping up, which I'm not exactly certain where those are coming from. There's no, these are freshly mixed paints, no silicone added. Interesting lacing in here. I think maybe we'll try another slight ring pour with my little cup here. I'm putting very little black in it and very little gray. Sometimes it matters. Um, this is a prettier um, start to a ring pour. This is a flexible cup. So I guess the finer point that you have, the better it will um, hopefully create the ring pour. The, the pouring method that I used, it was very wide. So we had a lot of color coming in at the same time. 
So let's see how this how this works. Well, that's definitely interesting. All right, so I think at this point I'm going to stop. I do like the black area that, that definitely adds a little to it here. I'm just gonna put the cups underneath and I'll wipe everything off. Bring you in. Like I said, I had definitely enough of paint. Um, I did that on purpose, just so that I could get a better composition in the long run. So this is it for today. I'm interested in all of this. It sort of looks like a, um, sort of like the same thing satin enamel does, <clears throat> but there's no satin enamel in this one. Just a lot more white in between layers. So, well, I hope you guys have a great day. Go check this challenge out. Bye for now.